All right, we've got the truly mixed bag weekend outlook for you because it looks like it is all yellow here. There's no green, but at the same time, there's no red either. Uh, so th there certainly will be dry periods, especially tomorrow. If you want to get those outdoor plans in, for instance, you're gardening out there. We do expect Sunday showers. Check your WECT weather app. Even tomorrow, we can't completely discount the possibility of an isolated shower or storm, but definitely lean towards tomorrow if you're going to be gardening. If you're going to be running some errands, uh, dry time for tomorrow. A little more shower activity around on Sunday. Your, your, definitely your windshield wipers will be working a little bit harder there if you're running the errands on Sunday. Exercising outside. Got some cool warnings coming up, but watch out for the showers on Sunday. Grilling outside. Check with the WECT weather app, particularly on Sunday. We have the cooler temperatures rolling in and boating stray Saturday storms. Sunday showers in the mix. On your Saturday, 82 degrees. So we're back to warmer temperatures tomorrow. We had a high of 73 in Wilmington. Granted, other spots that saw sunshine did break into the 80s this afternoon. West winds at 5 miles per hour. You can see temperatures will start off in the 60s tomorrow. And that persistent slight chance for a pop up shower or thunderstorm there. Probably the highest risk is going to be between 2 and 4 p.m. It looks like for tomorrow afternoon. Let's take a live look and there's a lot of cloud cover obviously in southeastern North Carolina. No rain at the moment in Surf City and we've just gotten through with some shower activity in Elizabethtown. Looks like the Broad Street beginning to dry out as the worst of the showers now over. In fact, the showers are now shifting more in our direction, more towards uh, Pentner and Brunswick counties. I'll show you here in just a moment. Here's a look at the uh, first layer digital Doppler. You can see things mostly drying out now back in uh, Bladen and Columbus County. But as we zoom on in, we're not really seeing any thunderstorms at this point. This is really just shower activity. As I told you, the environment is not really that conducive for thunderstorms over coastal sections of southeastern North Carolina. We've been stuck under low clouds and relatively cool temperatures, so you just don't have the low level instability necessary for thunderstorms. But there is rain. You can see from Bergal uh, down towards uh, Skipper's Corner, back towards northwest, and then into the city of Wellington. A little bit of light shower activity, a little more shower activity as you get back into eastern portions of Brunswick County, Boiling Spring Lakes, Southport. But you are in now beginning to see some of the first initial showers pouring into the downtown area and I would expect wetter conditions, at least some light showers rolling through the area over the next couple of hours. There is a heavier shower that we have a little more instability between Evergreen and Bladenboro. As we take a look at the uh, bigger picture here, you can see uh, even some severe thunderstorms just off to our north. Uh, earlier, you can see Hope County, for instance, seeing a severe thunderstorm warning, but even that activity seems to be quieting down at this point. Interesting temperature contrast too. look at Florence, 86 degrees. It's 86 in Charlotte, but here in Wilmington, we have the wind coming off the water and the clouds, 67 degrees, so a big temperature contrast. In fact, Wilmington right now, remember yesterday we had a high of 89 degrees. We are 22 degrees colder than we were this time yesterday. Hour by hour forecast model showing kind of another round of possible showers out there. So a low end shower chances do stick around, it looks like, for the balance of the evening hours. 82 for tomorrow, and then we get on the much colder temperatures, it looks like, for Sunday. Not a washout, but expect off and on showers, 65. A leftover shower early on Monday, still a high of 65. Some cool lows early next week before temperatures uh, begin to bounce back into the 70s for much of next week.